Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve? Which video editing software is a better option and why? We've tested and reviewed both of these programs extensively to see how they stack up against each other. Watch this in-depth Premiere Pro versus DaVinci Resolve comparison to make a smart decision. Also, we will show you how to get a special discount on both of these top editing programs, so stick with us till the end. Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve are two of the most used editing software, if not the most used. From hobbyists to professionals, both tools harness enough power to edit a home video or a blockbuster feature film, and everything in between. We will compare both video editing tools based on different key metrics like interface, audio, ease of use, color correction, and pricing. If you're in a hurry, here's a quick summary of the comparison. In terms of user interface, both DaVinci and Premiere have many similarities. However, Premiere has been in the video editing game for a bit longer. Therefore, it has had more time to fine-tune the interface to precisely what you require as a video editor. Premiere also prides itself on its audio engineering tools. On top of that, Adobe offers a professional audio mixing program called Audition, which provides seamless transitioning to and from Premiere. So, Premiere has the edge over DaVinci when it comes to audio capabilities. Premiere is also ahead of its competitor in the text and graphics department. The text and graphics involved in Premiere are quite extensive. You can apply complex compositing and sleek titles right within the program. In the color correction category, DaVinci performs better. It is understandable because DaVinci Resolve was originally a color correction program specifically designed for professional colorists. As of recent, Blackmagic has extended DaVinci's offering to allow users to video edit complex projects and has entered the video editing industry. Talking about ease of use, Premiere takes the cake. Both DaVinci and Premiere require a steep learning curve. However, DaVinci is designed for a slightly higher expertise level, whereas Premiere is relatively easy for first-timers. When it comes to features, Premiere Pro offers a wider array of tools to its users. On top of that, its user base is larger than DaVinci's, so there are more tutorials and solutions available online, via blogs, or videos to help you progress as a video editor. As far as the price of both editors are concerned, DaVinci is a bit better option if you want to pay a one-time amount. DaVinci Resolve is offered for a flat rate of $299. On the other hand, Premiere is priced at a monthly subscription fee of $20.99, provided you go for the annual plan. To sum up, Premiere Pro is the industry standard in editing video and film, while DaVinci Resolve is a great option for users who focus heavily on color correction. Overall, Premiere Pro is the better option thanks to its extensive array of tools and features, audio engineering capabilities, and constant bug fixing updates. Whichever product you choose, make sure to buy it using the official links we've added in the description box down below. These links have special discounts already applied to them, so you'll save a lot of money, especially on Adobe's products. Now, let's dive into the details. But first, we ask for a small favor. We have done extensive research and hard work to create this video. You can support us in a big way if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, which video editing software do you use and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. We will respond to your comments. Now first, we will look at the interface of each product. The interfaces of DaVinci and Premiere are similar in many ways. However, the reason why Premiere wins this category is that it was the first one to design its unique interface while DaVinci hopped on later. While smart on DaVinci's part, Premiere has superior control as it's simply been in the game longer. Let's take a look at the DaVinci interface. While each panel is customizable, the general interface closely resembles what many editors use. DaVinci has a more specific customer base, as many of its users focus heavily on color correction. This means that users generally have large monitors or a two-monitor setup. The DaVinci interface is designed appropriately considering that fact. While most tools are easily accessible via one interface in DaVinci, it can be a bit overwhelming for users that are editing on laptops or smaller desktops. Premiere Pro also allows users to customize each panel. They can quickly switch between interfaces simply using the top navigation panel with tabs for the color correction, audio, graphics and text, dual monitors, and the basic editing interfaces. Overall, we are most impressed with the Premiere interface, as the tools are easily accessible, the timeline is organized, and the panels are arranged for simple and effective use. And the whole interface can be switched for quick access to specific uses. Now, let's take a look at the audio engineering capabilities of both Premiere and DaVinci. Even though DaVinci has made drastic improvements to its audio engineering tools in recent years, Premiere Pro has better audio tools. It also provides easy access to its sibling program, Adobe Audition, for professional use. Let's first take a look at what DaVinci has to offer. One tool in particular that DaVinci has is an audio overlay option, which allows you to view the audio waveform on top of the video in the source panel. This allows you to play the selected clip back while also noting what is going on with the audio via the waveform for that specific clip. Using the keyframes in DaVinci, it's fairly simple to add fades, manipulate the curve of the fade, and remove segments from clips, 
You can easily click the audio clip in the timeline on top to add a keyframe and drag the volume of the audio between the keyframes. A curve keyframe is already in place. No additional steps are required for that, as is the case in Premiere. Premiere also offers a lot of specific audio features that are top of the line. One tool that is commonly used among video editors is the Synchronize tool. It allows you to select two audio clips that were recorded at the same time and synchronize them. This is commonly used on video and audio that are recorded separately, which is often the case with bigger budget productions. Overall, we think that Premiere offers better audio functionality than its competitor. Now, let's see how both video editing programs fare in terms of text and graphics. The in-program text and graphics options in both Premiere and DaVinci are top of the line. The only other possible rival that can stand a chance against these two industry standard video editing platforms is probably Avid Media Composer. However, if we had to choose a winner in this category, it would be Premiere Pro because of its font selection, motion tracking, a huge array of plugins, and effects. DaVinci does, however, put up a good fight in the text department. In previous versions of DaVinci, using text for subtitles and captions was just about the extent of it. With an updated array of features, you can now add complex titles with sleek fonts and masking tools that can create text of high production value. DaVinci also provides seamless access to Blackmagic's graphic interface, Fusion. With Fusion, you can create high-performing titles. Premiere allows you to control the masking and keyframes, as well as font, size, leading, thread, color, stroke, glow, and so much more. On top of that, all of these aspects can be animated. That gives users the opportunity of full control and creative limits that are much higher than that of DaVinci. So, Premiere is once again the winner in yet another category. Let's take a look at the color correction features offered by the two video editing programs. While Premiere Pro has a wide array of color correction tools, DaVinci is not only the better of the two, but it is the single best color correction video editing platform in the industry. This can be attributed to its years of being an exclusive color correcting program. Professional colorists who dedicate their entire careers to color correction would seek out DaVinci for its powerful color correction features. Now, DaVinci has video editing capabilities as well, but just a few years ago, it was solely a coloring program. One of DaVinci's nifty coloring tools allows you to compare your current clip to stills of previous clips so you can accurately match the tone, mood, and color palettes of the project. This is a simple yet useful tool that colorists have been demanding for years. DaVinci is just the first one to do it. Premiere Pro also provides extensive color correction tools. With its color wheels, curves, and waveform panels, color correction is a breeze in Premiere. These tools, however, lack the sheer power that DaVinci provides. However, they do the job for almost all projects. Now, let's talk about each program's ease of use. Both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve require a fairly steep learning curve. Both of these editing programs are the industry standard for professionals. Thus, the tools and features they offer are designed for editors who have years of experience. Premiere, however, happens to be the easier of the two to learn. Because Premiere has a larger user base, there are many tutorials online in the form of blogs and YouTube videos. In fact, if you're having difficulty applying a specific effect or maneuver, there must be a tutorial out there somewhere that can help you resolve that specific issue. This is actually one of the strongest selling points for Premiere. The learning curve for DaVinci is a bit steeper, as it was originally a color correction platform for professional colorists. This makes the program more suitable for higher-end professionals who have years of experience. When it comes to tools, both DaVinci and Premiere provide access to an extensive array of effects like glow, stabilization, green screen keying, text and titles, compositing, etc. In fact, the tools offered by Premiere and DaVinci are remarkably similar in many ways. The reason why Premiere wins this category is because of its wide range of masking and keyframing capabilities. The basic compositing that Premiere allows you to do is actually quite complex even for experienced editors. While many users will simply take their projects to After Effects via Adobe's dynamic link, many of these effects can be applied within Premiere. Obviously, the timeline does expand and get quite large as you continue to add layers. But these effects are possible and are unparalleled when compared to DaVinci. While DaVinci does have keyframing and compositing features, these are added fairly recently and require some improvements before reaching Premiere levels. Another important category to gauge a product's overall value is its pricing. DaVinci Resolve has a flat rate of $299. However, with the purchase of a Blackmagic camera, the video editing software is free. Using the software with a Blackmagic camera makes sense, as the software is specifically designed for this. Of course, the software can be used for most cameras and video file types, but the Blackmagic file types are extra seamless when used in DaVinci Resolve. Premiere Pro has a bit more of a complicated pricing plan. The single app of Premiere Pro costs $20.99 per month, However, if you also want to access other Adobe Creative Cloud apps like Photoshop, Lightroom, Audition, Media Encoder, and Adobe Animate, 
This subscription would cost $52.99 per month. Besides, Adobe often comes up with deals where the whole Creative Cloud is offered for $29.99 per month. On the whole, DaVinci Resolve has a more affordable pricing plan than Adobe Premiere Pro. So, that's the end of our comparison. In a nutshell, both Premiere and DaVinci are undoubtedly two of the biggest players in the video editing and film industry for many years to come. However, if we were to choose one over the other, the best video editing platform would be Premiere Pro. Because of its large user base who post tutorials and support each other in the video editing community, the extensive array of tools and features, audio engineering capabilities, compositing power, and constant updates that improve bugs, Premiere is our platform of choice. DaVinci, however, is a great option for users that focus heavily on color correction. If you're a colorist looking to learn more about editing, this could be the platform for you. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below for special discounts on both Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. You can save up to 60% if you use these links when purchasing the software. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like this video to support our work. Also, which editing tool do you use and why? Leave us a comment below. We will reply to all the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.